Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's me, Jeremy Alexander Newsom with Real Life Trading. Hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. We'll have a pretty quick stock review today. I didn't get a lot of requests from Wednesday. I did, however, get an email or a hundred uh, about the text message alert service program, what that would look like, a lot of questions about it. So this is exciting. This is good. Um, let me keep pondering. Let me reply to some of these emails. Let me talk to some more people and figure out what this looks like. But this is this is kind of a cool thing. Awesome stuff, guys. I love the feedback that I was getting. I love the information. love the details. You are some beautiful people. So the SPY did, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Exactly what we, were <laughs> what we were talking about on Wednesday. I simply mentioned if it pulled back, buy the dip. And it's exactly what it did. Uh, we gapped down actually yesterday into the 10 and just bounced right off of it. So new all-time high today on the SPY. Volume came in because today was option expiration Friday. A nice little lower shadow on the SPY looking pretty good. Now, the ironic thing, Apple, uh, so here's Apple, had a pretty good gap. This one's probably going to get me, well, not probably going to get me, got me today. And uh, I'm going to be keeping an eye on this one because it really just fully depends on how you're going to play Apple. So here's the thing. There's a few people looking at playing Apple off of this um, off of this support, this 155. This is a black candle gapping down. Black candle gapping down, meaning it's a retest gap. So it probably will retest a little bit. Uh, here's the hourly chart. And really, it was a retest on the hourly chart. And that's what we did here. So white candle gapping up. Uh, I thought this was the retest right here. We would bounce. Apparently not. So I'm going to keep an eye on Apple to probably trade down a little bit lower and then bounce. Or on Monday, Tuesday, if we start making higher highs, I'm going to try it again. Because overall, the gap is pretty bullish on the daily chart. Not magnificently. But the weekly chart, I do like the fact you had three... Nice bullish candles in a row, and we're retesting a little bit on Apple. Uh, there is some actually okay bull put spread premium. You would have to go over earnings, but 150 and below. Uh, there's actually a little bit. Of, there's a dollar or well, I'll say a dollar. I'm 90 cents or so down in there on Apple for regular November. Speaking of credit spreads, uh, had a first solar bull put spread expire today. That felt good. Uh, that helped me out because really actually been on a little bit of a losing streak. I talked about that some last week. Well, uh, this week wasn't much better. So I'm, uh, I think, 0-7 right now overall as far as just pure day trades go. I haven't really won a day trade, which will happen, right? That will occur from time to time. What's important to know uh, when you are trading is you will have bad days, bad weeks, sometimes even bad months. If it's a consistent thing, if you're always losing, that's usually a mindset or strategy or timing approach. It's very, very rarely, very rarely just how much you know, right? It's just because you don't know enough doesn't mean that you're not going to be making money. That's rarely the case because everyone can do math. If you buy something for a dollar and sell it at 10, you're going to make money, right? So overall, it just comes down to usually mindset. So I guess the overall ending message uh, for today, and I'll look at a few more stocks really quick before I go, but the message I want to leave you with this weekend is kind of this. If you feel stressed out, if you feel annoyed, if you feel like you're beaten up by the market, which will happen, understand that there are traders out there making money. It might not just be you and be happy that other people are doing well. Be, gen be grateful, feel the generosity in your heart and simply know that there are many boundless opportunities out there and the stock market beating you up could be a lot like a surfer going out into the ocean trying to learn how to surf. And you could be a professional surfer, best in the world, but you will never be as strong as the waves of the ocean. And you're going to get knocked down. You're going to be tired. Sometimes you're going to have to come back to the shore. You might even have to wear a life vest to make sure that you don't drown. You're going to have to protect yourself. But remember, you're doing it because you love doing it. You're doing it because it's fun. There is no get rich scheme in the stock market. In fact, the best way to get rich quickly in trading is to simply count your blessings. So remember, folks, two out of seven people in the world won't eat today, as my good friend Brad Reed says. So even though when you're losing money, uh, think about it in the overall bigger picture of what you're actually doing. You're upset that you didn't make as much money as you wanted to by pressing buttons on a computer. <laughs> so even though I get a little bit upset, right? People get mad when you lose or they get upset when they get stopped out and get frustrated. That's cool. 
That's understandable, but you have to take a step back, you have to take a deep breath, and realize what it is that you're getting upset about. Really think about it. It's kind of like if you have a kid or a nephew or a cousin or a friend or a grandkid, and they are playing their favorite video game, and they get killed you know, with one life left, and they have to restart. And that's kind of what we're dealing with. We're playing a game. It's just digits on a screen. That's all money is. Whatever money is, you have linked that thought and that feeling to money. You have created that bridge between what money is and what it means to you. And it could be religious, uh, it could be from religious experiences, family experiences, relationship experiences, emotional experiences, financial, whatever it is, you created how you feel about money. And when you lose and when you're down, it's just digits on a screen. You get to interpret how you feel about that. And you get to determine, do you move forward? Do you figure out a way to get better? Do you figure out a way to improve? Do you figure out a way to improve yourself? Because if you want to improve your trading, that's what you have to do. When people say that they always, the market's always changing, therefore they're always changing. You've got to be growing. You've got to be getting better. You've got to be reinvesting in yourself. And you've got to figure out a way to get over the tough times. Because especially if you're trading for a living and not selling thousands and thousands of dollars worth of courses and you're just trading, the goal of the trading is, ladies and gentlemen, to see if you can truly master yourself. Because when you master yourself, you will master the market. If you're not making money consistently, it's usually something subconscious. So when you lose, take a big step back and realize what you're getting upset about. Realize worst case scenario, realize best case scenario, and you'll quickly realize that you're very, very far away from worst case scenario, and you're probably pretty close to best case scenario. So that's just kind of my thoughts really quick. Here's Alibaba. Alibaba, small little bearish candle today, inside candle. Here's the hourly charts. Uh, this too is also kind of bouncing around, retesting. Here's the queue. So the queue's not quite as bullish as the SPY was, but it makes sense. Huge hammer candle yesterday. A lot of profits made between today and yesterday. Nice little gap up on this one. Having a put sale expiring on PTS, uh, which is pet supply. That one's going to expire worthless today. And then Target, for example, TGT. Um, we got a weekly options newsletter set up on Target. Uh, some traders got in with a, just a different setup. We also had some uh, trade set up with shares from a swing trade. So Target working out pretty well. If you didn't get triggered into the weekly options newsletter, you did set up correctly uh, the 95 cents, even though it really should have filled. I mean, looking at it on the five minute chart, I think it's almost blasphemous to, that it didn't fill because it came in, uh, broke through the entry, pulled back. I mean, we got like half a cent from getting filled right there. So it's kind of just ridiculous a little bit. The market makers didn't want to fill us, but that's okay. No big deal. We got, got the analysis correct. Uh, some people are still in target with a different setup. So we're making good money there. And then Lulu, this was a bull put spread that I posted uh, about three, four days ago. That's have a nice little move overall. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you want me to look at the stock, feel free to post it in the comment section below and do it as early as you can. Uh, because that way, you know, I get time to see exactly what you want me to request. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, remember that you're amazing. Remember that the mission of real life trading is to enrich lives. And remember, worst case scenario in trading, if you simply become a better person, let's say you have a $4,000 trading account and you lose it all, every single dime, all that money is gone. But you look around and you go, you know, I'm a lot better person than I was now I am now than I was two years ago. Isn't that worth four grand? Remember, folks, money means whatever you want it to mean. It's just an extension of who you are. If you pour all of your hopes and dreams and goals and aspirations to making more money, I'm sure you will. However, at the end of the day, it's just a figment of your imagination. It's just paper colored in certain colors from wherever you are in the world, you get to attribute what that is to you. You can be happy with a million. You can be happy with a hundred thousand. You can be happy with a dollar. Money doesn't make you happy, but I've never seen anyone frown on a jet ski. Enjoy the weekend. I'll see you Monday. And until next time, love life, live life and trade it.